today we are going to discuss about some of the common mistakes generally job applicants are making in their resume or their CV because CV is the first thing that HR come across about you so it is necessary to update your CV so number one is career objective a career objective is largely obsolete it tells an employer what you want from them when the focus should really be on the employer's need instead of an objective begin your resume with a career summary where highlights what you bring to the table and how you can add value to the company number two soft skill in core competency section core competencies and the skills section in the resume should focus on hard skills and not the soft skills soft skills are important but you can web them into the work experience portion in the resume or in the cover letter so remember in the hard skills or the core competency section please include it your core competencies and the hard skills only number three references don't waste your real estate by writing implied information on your resume such as contact information for the references or the references available upon request hiring managers know you have references and will ask for them at the appropriate time so don't waste your resume space by writing the references contact details Number four, stylized font. Appearance counts, but so does the readability. Skip any fancy or ultra stylized font and instead choose a font that is both professional and clean looking. For example, you can opt for standard font like Arial or the Calibri. Number five, high school education. Your resume education section does not go back too far. For example, if you have a master degree, so you may avoid your high school degree because it is implied if you are a graduate, you have completed your 10 plus 2. So the more experienced you are, the lesser education you should be mentioning or the latest educational information you should be highlighting on. Next one, your photograph. Giving a photograph your, yourself on the resume potentially leads to discrimination. So it is better nowadays, you know, that uh, your LinkedIn profile, Facebook profile will be viewed by the hiring manager. So put a professional photograph in those profiles and provide photographs to the hiring manager when asked for. Number seven, an unprofessional, outdated email address. Do you have an email ID of your school or the college days, like schooldude at gmail.com? If you have, kindly replace that as soon as possible. You must be having a professionally sound or looking email ID. Use your name, dot, your surname, add some numerical, and create an email ID of your own. So that's all for today. We'll be coming back shortly with some more interesting content. For more such videos, subscribe my channel, Amitava Gupta. Thank you so much for watching this content.